good day. Scarves up. <laughs> 10 minutes to 6 on your Friday morning. We're talking Las Vegas lights. The city's really embraced the soccer team. Brett Lashbrook is here as the team is halfway through the season. Brett uh, got the whole thing going here in Las Vegas with the Las Vegas lights. So thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right. So we're halfway through the inaugural season. USL playing up at Cashman Field. Let's just talk about how the first season's gone. The first half of the season has been great. Averaging almost 8,000 fans a game. And we were the second largest city in the entire world without a professional soccer team. So we as a community deserve it and we have proven that we are a soccer city and you know with 8,000 fans you know we provide this very unique experience right they're singing and dancing and cheering and marching just like you see in Mexico City or London or Barcelona we've created that right here in downtown Las Vegas excellent stuff it's, it's been cool to watch it grow as it has to the first year uh, right now we obviously the the uh, 51s and the lights yes. share Cashman Field how has that gone and do you envision for year two Maybe some changes in how that all works. Certainly, by, by that point, the 51s will be gone. Yeah, it's, it's been great. I say, if you've never been to Cashman Field for a baseball game and you come for a lights game, you won't know it's a baseball stadium, right? We spend $50,000 a game. We cover all the dirt with grass. We cover all the outfield signs. We move the pitcher's mound. We move the bullpen mound. And we make it into a soccer stadium. There's actually nine minor league baseball stadiums across the country that share with professional soccer, us being one of them. But next year, that won't be the case. The 51s are building a brand new, beautiful stadium in downtown Summerlin, and we will convert with the help of the city of Los Vegas or the support of the city of Las Vegas of turning Cashman Field into a soccer only stadium. It'd be cool to see what Cashman looks like. There's been some other highlights of baseball stadiums being turned into soccer stadiums. <coughs> Portland comes to mind that look really, really cool. Um, now, the uh, coach. I do remember at the beginning of the season, he was kicked out of one of the games, and there was video of him in the stands having a cigarette with the with the supporters. With the fans. By Las Vegas, for Las Vegas, of Las of, Vegas. Kind of one of the coolest <laughs> things. He's been suspended a couple of times, too. Is that passion good or bad? Uh, I, I think overall it's good, right? You, got, you yeah. have to find that balance, especially when you're bringing different cultures together and different soccer cultures together, um, of finding what that balance is. But uh, the, uh, uh, the lovable El Chalice is yeah. back on the sidelines this weekend. <laughs> you know, we had an open practice, had almost 500 fans out at Kellogg's Air last night. Uh, and the fans love them. The fans love the passion. The fans love being able to interact with the team. Um, so we've got to find that right balance. But overall, we're incredibly happy. Well, passion is so important, yeah. especially when it comes to soccer. Before we get any further, we should talk about why there's backpack. Here. Backpacks, You're holding one. There's yes. one right here. Let's talk about the, the team's effort with school coming back. Yes, yeah, so we have a special uh, promotion this uh, this uh, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. The Zappos tailgate starts at 5.30. The game starts at 8. All kids 12 and under, the first 2,000, receive a full full size uh, backpack presented by Boston Dental Group and the Las Vegas Lights. So just another way to get uh, families to come on out. We're also going to have a fireworks show. But unlike most uh, teams that do it after the game, we're going to do it before the game, <laughs> after the game, and after goals, right? During it is the game, right? And during the game. It's, a, it's, a, it's Las Vegas, and we're going to have some fun with it. And you got some other things going on in August as well as we're halfway through the season. Yeah, we actually have three Saturday night home games this uh, this summer, uh, this summer month. So really want to, our goal is to get everyone in Las Vegas to come try us once because we know if you come to one game, you're going to enjoy it and you're <laughs> going to keep coming back. So we've got promotions with Calabunga Bay and Boston Dental Group with the free backpacks in the in the fire uh, this Saturday. Fireworks all, all month. And then the next game, August 18th, is UFC night. We've got three UFC fighters coming and doing uh, meet and greets and all types of things with the fans. So it's really some fun interactive things. Just to intimidate the visiting teams. <laughs> Brett Lashbrook from the Las Vegas Lights, thanks again for coming in, watching the team as they're just on the outside of the playoffs. They're in the playoff hunt. There you go. The we playoff. need everyone's support. Come on down and <laughs> sing and dance and cheer with us. Viva Lights, everybody. All right, scarves up. Let's check in with uh, Nate Tannenbaum as we move from soccer to weather. Hopefully it's going to be clear. It's going to be hot this weekend, though, huh? Uh,